And our first fight is about to get going underway tonight, kicking things off in the female full, uh, strawweight division at an amateur Muay Thai belt. We have Allison Blackwell out of Triforce taking on Mew Seppo out of Citadel. This should be exciting. Mew has a few fights under her belt already to where she struggled in the past was a size disadvantage and she's moving down the weight to fight Allison Blackwell here. Blackwell, on the other hand, has experienced in MMA and is known to frequent the local grappling circuit. So while we definitely know that she's an active competitor, I'm very excited to see how she fares in her first uh, time stepping into the ring under the rules of Muay Thai, to my knowledge. Welcome to the commentary booth, Chip Maraza Pilar. Yes, sir. Better late than never. Absolutely. So kicking things off in your forte, Muay Thai, couple of amateur Muay Thai belts. You had the pleasure of calling the uh, inaugural combat night at Pins just a few short months ago. What are you expecting to be brought here at Plymouth Memorial Hall tonight? I mean, that was a great start to uh, the combat night, kind of a uh, new tradition that uh, might bring in a route with uh, Cage Titans. And I expect an even better show tonight. We're bringing it into the, the big arena. This is like the main Cage Titans house right now. We're at Memorial Hall. We're not at Pins. Pins is a great location, but this is this is where uh, where it really goes down. So I'm glad to see the Muay Thai kind of step into the uh, the main stage here. Absolutely. As far as Cage Titans is concerned, I feel that the Memorial Hall is the big show of Cage Titans. So for it to get the spotlight it deserves tonight, there's a big step forward in the Muay Thai scene for Massachusetts as a whole. Absolutely. Allison Blackwell, no stranger to the Cage Titans cage. She's fought here before. I believe she fought on the first night I ever called a Cage Titans 31. And uh, my Seppo, or Mew Seppo, my apologies, Mew Seppo out of Citadel, no stranger to fighting Muay Thai. She's 0-4 in the Muay Thai ranks, but she's had some absolute wars going three hard-fought rounds with Emily Kelly at no boundary, making her inaugural walk to the Muay Thai arena in Plymouth Memorial Hall. She has a background in Taekwondo and she is very uh, frequent in the, she, she likes to throw a volume of kicks, which is good in Muay Thai. What she is hoping to do this time is to really establish herself at the center of the ring and walk her opponent back rather than fading back herself. And I think that her being um, at a lower weight class is going to help her stand her ground and assert her dominance in the center of the cage. Yeah, I actually called, uh, I was cornering against her. I was cornering, cornering Emily Kelly in that fight and uh, Mu was a beast. She definitely, uh, she comes to fight. She's gonna put on the show tonight. That was my first ever no boundary event. I remember the roof was blown off oh, yeah. that building for that fight. And We're expecting no more today. Our tail of the tape will be coming up. Run down it. Our tail of the tape, we've got Allison Blackwell, 33 years of age to Mew Seppos, 28 age of age. We've got the weight at 111 versus Mew's 113. Allison Blackwell stands at 5'4", same as Mew Seppo. Her reach is 64 inches to Mew Seppo's one inch reach advantage at 65. Yeah, nothing really that different in the, uh, in the stats there. Should be an even fight. I mean, we'll see how the, uh, the experience of Mew translates into the, uh, like you said, the big arena here. Absolutely, in the middle of the cage, Andy will take it away. One moment, please, as we await the ringside position. Safety first. We seem to be experiencing some technical difficulties with the mic. Meanwhile, Allison Blackwell busts the move to stay warm.
Both fighters showcasing some shadow boxing as they await a properly working life stand. Oh. Keeping the engines warm. <laughs> Gotta do it. All right, ladies and gentlemen of Plymouth Memorial Hall, prepare yourselves for the first bout of the evening. An amateur Muay Thai bout at the strawweight division scheduled for three rounds, two minutes apiece. Introducing to you first, standing in the red corner, with an amateur Muay Thai record of one victory and no defeats. She stands five feet four inches tall and she weighed in at 111 pounds. She is representing Triforce. Let's hear it for Allison Blackwell. And now introducing her opponent standing across from her in the blue corner with an amateur Muay Thai record of 0 and 4. She stands 5 feet 4 inches tall, and she weighed in at 113 pounds. Tonight, she is representing Citadel. Let's hear it for new Spitfire Seppo! And our referee for this contest is Alan Lau. You know, All I right. must say, aside from the fight itself, I, as a style coach, appreciate you coordinating her hair with her corner. Oh, absolutely. Can we get an up on Kim Moy's head um, volume to Chip's headset? Headset two to headset three. You starting hot early with lots of kicks and punches. Blue gloves for Mew Seppo, red gear for Allison Blackwell. They are just in a firefight in the early goings. Couple nice body kicks landed by both women early. Yeah, those body kicks, like I said last show, score very high in Muay Thai. Um, but yeah, these girls are coming out guns blazing. We knew this was going to be a barn burner to start this show off. Ooh, nice right hand from Blackwell on the counter. I like the way Mew is going back between her hands and her kicks, kind of varying it up, going to the body a lot, then going back upstairs with the punches. Nice high kick. Right hand from Blackwell on the counter. 
She's been throwing that straight down the pipe all night. Yu's pressure has been giving her advantage so far. Nice combination punctuated by the kick from Yusepo. Taking that kick down low now to the leg. She's been going to the left side of the body, the right side of the body, coming up top. Good and then straight forward with those hands. Barrages of punches from Yusepo. Another nice right hand from Blackwell. Blackwell oh, the beautiful nice teep. Nice teep. See if Blackwell can kind of weather this storm. See if um, you can maintain this pace the whole fight. Those body kicks are scoring very well, though. F.A.R. She's timing a nice leg kick as well. Blackwell seems intent on catching them, but I feel like it may not be worth the That damage. was a nice one. Nice leg kick. Countered by the right hand from Blackwell. That right hand's been a really accurate weapon for Allison Blackwell thus far. She has been consistent and precise with that right hand. And there's a right hand from Seppo as well. That does it for stanza number one. A back and forth round. They came out fast. That pace stayed the same the whole first round. I mean, that's exactly how I expected this night to go, right off the bat. The beautiful shy getting us ready for round number two. Well, I will Both say. ladies finding some success in that fight. Blackwell finding success with that straight right hand down the pipe. And Yusepo putting together some beautiful combinations and landing a lot of effective body kicks throughout that round. As Chip noted, the kicks are what really are scoring the most here. And I think that that is going to have you looking to uh, come into round two, one ahead. Yeah, definitely. I think she clearly took that first round. She uh, had the barrage of punches as well down the down the pipe. Looks like they're kind of icing uh, Blackwell's face a little bit. But uh, I mean, hey, she was giving it right back to her. But those kicks, uh, that's what, what the difference was. That's what scores high in Muay Thai. Round two almost underway. Can we please get uh, Kin Moy's volume up on both of the headsets, please? Kin Moy, the second headset, a little faint. Round two underway. Blackwell trying with a jumping switch kick. Slipping ahead off the center line, throwing right hands. Seppo landing some good kicks, too. Nice jab. Oh, big right hand from Blackwell. Stops the back a little bit, but Mew returns with a few of her own. Yeah, they're in the pocket just exchanging right now. Seppo's pace seems to have gone down a little bit. The output isn't quite as high, but still, they're, guys, they're going right back and forth. Oh, nice one-two right down the pipe. Tried for the teep up top, kind of slipped off to the side a little bit. Oh, big nice kick left Blackwell. kick. Oh, hey. Hey. Another nice body kick caught. She has to capitalize on those uh, caught kicks, though. You can't just catch the kick and not do anything with it. You catch the kick and sweep or throw your own kick back, something. You got to capitalize on that. She's doing it with punches, catching and throwing the hands. Oh, nice right hand from Yusepo. Another one. Oh, another one. Starting to pay dividends there. Lock her down right now. Eight put count. Put enough leather on her. Alan Lau how to do it. Got it. That was a big barrage from Seppo. That's just right, is that better? Up, and that's the fight. Phil, is that better? All right. Fight's over. Seppo's aggression and that just nonstop pace, that kind of just, just blitzkrieg of punches, that's what sealed the deal and did the trick. It was a ferocity of combinations from you, Seppo, towards that turning point in that second round. She had Blackwell hurt with right hand after right hand. She was just vicious and precise with those weapons. And Blackwell got the standing eight count and wasn't able to answer the bell. The referee had seen enough. It's enough damage in an amateur fight for her. And New Seppo climbs into the wind column, climbing to one and four with a beautiful performance, just as aggressive as we thought it was gonna be. Sweet, sweet victory. Um, punctuated again. She did a lot of damage with those punches, but the body kicks, I think, really pay dividends as well. And you could see the grip and Blackwell's face. She hung in tough as long as she could, landed some big rights of her own, but that's the wrap. Yeah, definitely good to see Mew get that W. She's a great fighter and she's uh, put, in the, put in the work. 
fought on all kinds of shows all over the place, always comes to fight, so it's good to see her get that W. But great fight from Blackwell as well. Yep, Looking forward to see her back in the in the ring soon. She's back standing up and seems to be okay as well, but what a fight to kick things off for Combat Night Part 2. Gentlemen, let's hear it for these two warriors. <laughs> Referee Alan Lau has called a stop to this contest at one minute and 28 seconds of round number two, giving you your winner by TKO, Mew Spitfire Seppo. Just like last time, a great first fight to set the tone, set the bar high for everybody that's going to come later. 